okay so problem hello circular section of external diameter 100 mm has a uniform thickness of 10 mm calculate its moment of inertia with respect to diameter first diameter then tangent to the circle and third the axis parallel to and 20 mm below the tangent so first of all write down the given diagram external diameter it is given capital d is equal to this 100 mm 100 mm then thickness it is given t is equal to this 10 mm t is equal to 10 mm so small diameter it will be that is internal diameter is equal to capital d minus 2 t minus 2 t so capital d it is 100 minus 2 into 10 so it will get 80 mm 80 mm so internal diameter it is 80 mm 80 mm first of all draw the diagram so this one is external diameter then internal diameter it is given internal diameter it is given then draw the x axis so internal diameter and external diameter diameter capital D is equal to 100 mm 100 mm then internal diameter small d is equal to 80 mm small d is equal to 80 mm small d is equal to 80 mm so first question moment of inertia moment of inertia inertia with respect to diameter with respect to diameter so calculate moment of inertia with respect to diameter that is formula for that ixx is equal to i is equal to ixx is equal to I or Y is equal to it will be for that moment of inertia for hello circular section pi into pi into in bracket in bracket capital D raised to 4 capital D raised to 4 minus minus small d raised to 4 small d raised to 4 and small d raised to 4 divided by 64 small d raised to 4 divided by 64 divided by 64 64 divided by 64 is equal to capital 5 put all this value of 5 5 in bracket, in bracket, capital D raised to 4 it is 100 raised to 4, 100 raised to 4, 100 raised to 4, minus, small d raised to 4 it is 80 raised to 4, 80 raised to 4, 80 raised to 4, bracket close. It was divided by 64. Divided by 64. I can get it from this relation. I is equal to. I is equal to. Pi into. 100 raised to 4 minus 80 raised to 4. 80 raised to 4 divided by 64. So it will get 2.89. 2.8981 into 10 raised to power 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. This one it is. 
moment of inertia with respect to tangent. Now calculate cross-sectional area. Also, a is equal to for the word for that a is equal to pi 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 into in bracket in bracket in bracket d square capital D square capital D square minus minus small d square small d square small d square divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 put all this value here pi pi into pi into pi into in my case, d square it will be external diameter it is 100 capital d it is 100 square 100 square 100 square minus small diameter it is small diameter it is 80 square it is square it is square like divided by 2 divided by 2 from this image, it is a cross-sectional area. So, pi, pi into 100 square minus 80 square divided by 4. Divided by 4. So, it will be 2827, 2827, 1, 433 mm square. Mm -hmm. square. This one is cross A. So now, second question Moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. With respect to with respect to tangent with respect to tangent tangent with respect to tangent so we just draw the tangent to the circle tangent to the circle so this is going to say a b a and B. Okay. The moment of inertia about the AB. IAB. IAB is equal to IB plus A H square. IB plus A H square. IG plus A H square. IG plus A H square. IG means it will be is equal to pi into pi into in bracket a units pi into in bracket capital D raised to 4 capital D raised to 4 capital D raised to 4 minus minus small D raised to 4 small D raised to 4 small D raised to make it close divided by 64 divided by 64 64 plus 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 a x squared plus a x squared a x squared Plus a squared. Plus a squared. 
So here I will write H means what? Okay. So H is equal to it is here. H is equal to it is D by 2, capital D by 2. Diameter, external diameter, divided by 2. Divided by 2. So external diameter it is 100 M. 100 divided by 2. 100 divided by 2. 100 divided by 2. That is 50 M. 50 M. 50 M. Okay. So put all these values here. So IAB is equal to. So 5 capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 divided by 64. This value we are calculating that is 2.8981 into 10 raised to the power 6 plus area it is area it is 2827.433 into 50 square. H it is 50 square. H it is 50 square. So it will be full of movement of inertia with respect to tangent. I that is I. See? Just calculate. 2.8981 into 10 to the power 6 plus 2827.4. 3, 3 to 50 square. It will be 9.9.966 into 10 to 4. 6 mm to 4. mm to 4. mm to 4. So this one it is movement of inertia with respect to tangent. With respect to tangent. So next calculate third one. third one moment of inertia third one moment of inertia with respect to with respect to Axis parallel, axis parallel, and 20 mm below 10. 20 mm below 10. Below 10. 20 mm below 10. So here it is also. So that is. 20 mm below tangent. So just consider this one, it is peak zero. Peak zero. P and Q. P and Q. Okay. So this one, it is actually 20 mm below the tangent. This one is 20 mm below the tangent. 20 mm below the tangent. So now, say, I P Q is equal to I G plus A H square. G B plus A H square. A H square. Okay. So here only difference it is H value. Okay. So it, I will write here. H means H is equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 100 divided by 2. 20 plus 100 divided by 2. 20 plus 100 divided by 2. So this value to be 70 m. 70 m. Draw this value again. I P Q is equal to I G it is again 2.8981 into 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 6. And for six plus area it is two eight two seven point four three three into x square that is seventy square seventy square 
Okay. Okay. So, we'll get IPQ. IPQ is equal to calculate 8 point, sorry, 2.8981 into 10 to the power 6, 10 to the power 6 plus 2827.433 into 70 square. So, we we'll get 17 point, sorry, 16 point 752 into 10 to the power 6 mm to 4 mm to 4 mm to 4 mm to 4 this one it is moment of inertia which is the tangent 20 mm below the tangent this is the final answer so first question moment of inertia with respect to diameter that is 2.8981 into 10 to the power 6 then tangent to the circle that is iab it is 9.966 into 10 to the power 6 then the axis parallel to and 20 mm below the tangent that is I, ipq is equal to 16.754 into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4 okay this is your analysis